hello everyone in last two videos of we saw a demo of uh, anti phishing and safe attachments policies in this video we will see a demo of safe link policies in office 365 defender safe link policy provides uh, url scanning so it scans the urls which are in inbound emails which are in team conversation group chats channels and also in office 365 apps and there is a no default safe link policy so we saw in our previous video that there is a default anti phishing policy which applies to all users so there is no default safe link policy so you have to create one but the setting for safe link for office 365 apps is a global setting so you have to define it as a global setting and you cannot select on which users it applies also to note here is that the office 365 uh, safe link global setting will only apply to those users who have uh, at least one active safe link policy applied to them so the urls which are scanned are prefixed with this url name 01 safe link protection outlook.com in emails but uh, for the teams this does not happen there is no prefix attached and these are the settings so let us create a policy and see these settings and see what they do for creating the policy i will click on safe links in protection.office.com under threat management policy and i will click on create i have given a name here i will click on next and these are the settings so this is for your email messages and this is for teams so i will turn on both of them and I will also turn on apply real-time URL scanning for suspicious links and links that point to files. I will also check wait for URL scanning to complete before delivering the message. So in safe attachments, we saw dynamic delivery where the message is sent, but the attachment is being scanned in the background. And when, so when the attachment scanning is complete, it is appended to the email message. Here we select whether we want to applied safe link to email messages sent within the organization do not track user clicks if we do not want to track uh, which urls users have clicked we will check this do not allow users to click through original url so they will get a warning message when they click on a url so they can bypass uh, that warning and go to the original url this is to display organization branding on notification and warning pages here we can define exceptions the urls which are never scanned or in emails or teams so i do not have any urls so i will click on next i will leave use the default notification text to appear for as a warning for users or we can also define our own and i will apply to all the users in my domain i will click on condition the recipient domain is and select my domain next and now i have applied my safe link policy so this was the safe link policy for emails and teams but here if we go under global settings we can define the settings for office 365 app so i have selected office 365 safe links to be applied so i will get the safe link protection in office 365 uh, apps as well and here we can allow do not track when users click on safe links for office 365 I will leave this unchecked do not let users click through the safe links to original url so they cannot bypass the warning message in office 365 apps as well and cannot go to the original urls here you can define your own blocked urls which will be blocked in email messages o365 apps and office for ios and android so you can define those urls here for teams the safe link policy is currently in preview the urls are not rewritten urls are checked when users click on them now let us see a demo of uh, it i will send an email with the link in it here is an email i am sending to one of my email accounts in my anudev.co.in domain and here is the link in there So here I got the email and when I click on the link, let's see what happens. 
so it is saying that the website has been classified as malicious and it's not allowing me to open the web page and i'm getting the option to continue to website because in the policy i did not select the setting where i am blocking the users to go to original url i will go back to the policy again and edit it and this time in settings i will block the users to go to the original url i have selected do not allow users to click through to original url save this setting and then try to go to the link once again now when i click on the link it should not allow me to bypass the warning message it does not give me the option to bypass it and as we can see the prefix is also applied to the link i have pasted the same message in word document to show you how it works in office 365 apps and if i click on this link it will give me the warning message it is giving me the warning message and i see the continue anyway here because in the global settings for office 365 apps i did not check this do not let users click through safe links to original url so this was a small demo on how safe links uh, policy works in office 365 defender for office 365 apps emails and teams i hope you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye bye